Welcome back to the semiconductor roller coaster. HTRB is a test where we're testing the isolation barrier in the device. The basic test setup is that we're using a DC supply and apply a constant stress voltage on the device while the device is off and only observe the bias currents that make it through the device beside the device being off. The idea is to test for how long the device is able to withstand high voltages while having also an ambient of really high temperatures, which are further weakening the isolation gap of the device. For wide band gap devices, we have challenges that we must overcome. One is we need to make sure that we are having the gate completely shut. And the second one is we have less, less bias currents, so there are much less currents that we can observe. So the measurement here needs to be much more accurate. And also the death of the devices is, is much more sudden. Consequently, we have on most of the times not anything to analyze if we don't have any measures to prevent the device from burning altogether. H3TRV is a test where we're testing the device isolation barrier while also applying high temperature and high humidity. The block diagram is roughly the same as with HTRB. We are applying a constant voltage and make sure that the device is in off state while observing the bias that is still running through the device. For the ambient temperature, the normal is 85%, uh, is 85 degrees Celsius and also 85% relative humidity. Challenges that we need to look at is that our device doesn't get below dew point because then we have condensation on the device, which would be a different stress. And also we need to make sure that we have the, the isolation barriers in the rest of the test system correct, that our bias that we are measuring is actually flowing through the device and not through any other path through our test system. The application that we are looking at is a car that is starting in the morning and has high humidity on its rectifier or a train that is going through different ambient temperatures that make high humidity in the rectifier.